Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a very, very first impression on the new Tati Beauty palette. It is, I think this is one of those palettes that I'm going to take, oh my God, oh my God, look at this guys. This, this is a palette that will very fast become the only palette I take with me. It's got a phenomenal mirror. It's got gorgeous mirror. It's got one, two, three, four, five, six shades. It's memory, ritual, story, soothe, aura, and poet. And this is, this is going to be the palette. You know, it's like has mattes, sequins, metallics, glitters. I think this is an all in one palette. I don't know. I think this is the kind of palette that I'm attracted to. I'm I can see every single color. I can see me do it. You know, I can, this can, like, I've heard, I've seen some reviews and I've seen that the black is like the best black and the only black you will ever need. So I 100% think this is going to be the only palette I travel with, which is a bold statement, but it has every single color I think I could ever possibly need, want, you know, for, especially like traveling, you want to, you want something that has it all. But sometimes you you have like a an all matte palette that has like all these shades, but you want like a glitter or you want like a like a sequin or a metallic. This 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 is this is it. This is the one for me. Um, this is definitely the palette that I think I'm gonna take on my next vacation. I have one coming up, and I'm so so excited for it. So today, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna do. Uh, I'm going to put a timestamp right here. I'm going to do my full face, but I'm also going to do the eyes. So before we get started, I just want to remind you guys, if you like this video, if you like the look I'm going to do, uh, please subscribe, please ring the bell, please, 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 you will be notified. It all helps. Give me a thumbs up if you like the look. And yeah, without further ado, further ado, let's just get, let, let, let's, let's just get started. All right. All right. Um, we're gonna prime the skin using the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Coconut Primer. This is it smells uh like this actually. <laughs> it smells like the butter bronzer and it smells like a beach, it smells like the summer, it smells like the beach, it smells like a good time. So oh my god, it smells just like the beach. So we're going to prime with that, and then we're gonna fill in our pores with the Maybelline Master Blur Stick. Just a light little pore filling. I like to do this because this gives me the most flawless base. I'm going to start with my face makeup today. That's typically how I start um, on like a daily, but when I do big, bold, colorful looks, then I don't know the fallout, I don't know that situation. I'm going to use a little bit of the Cover FX gripping primer. It like helps the foundation stick. Stars are brighter, I feel lighter in every way. Girlfriend, there's no one like you when it comes to It's like the um, uh, Milk Makeup Hydro Grip. If you have that, I feel like you have them all. So because this is a daytime look, I would like to, I'm going to use uh, the a cosmetic CC cream, the regular one. Your skin but better in fair and light. Light is what I wear when I'm self tan, and fair has always looked a little grand. So I get the two, mix them, and I just dot it all over my face. Life is richer, lips are sweeter. Now listen. And be very very careful not to get it on your white shirt. So yeah, so we're going to be buffing it in with the NYX Professional Makeup uh, 03. It's a buffing brush. And now 
We're going to be going in with our Boy This Way Too Faced Multi Sculpting Concealer in the shade Swan. And then I don't really like to highlight the rest of my face. Like this is more than enough for me. And we just go in with the e.l.f. sponge. I will have everything linked down below, but favorite drugstore sponge, one of. Uh, I really like the Real Techniques, the diamond one. I tried the face and body one, but that one was so big. It was, it was scary how big it was. First, 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 before we set, I'm gonna go in also with the P. Louise base in shade number two. And we're going to be doing this so that when I do blend, so I can just go over it with the sponge and not have powder in my way, not have anything. And then what we're going to do is we're going to grab our Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder and we're going to grab Morphe. It came in a set. I'm not sure the name, but I will link the set down below. Unless, you're, uh, unless your under eyes don't crease as quickly, then maybe you can have more time to play with it. But so I grab, dip, fluff away as much as I can. I was like, I like, I'm like, still fluffing away. And we see some creasing. This is why I like to do it quickly. And then set. Lucky you, I envy you if you don't have to set your face. Let me hold. You're on this side of town in Miami. You gotta, you gotta. Very messy. Be careful. You see? Grab a little synthetic brush. We're gonna start adding blush. I'm gonna go into my blush palette, my heartlet palette. And I'm feeling like we should grab a little bit of lilas this one and a mix of study sesh da, da, da. i feel like that's an acronym for something but i feel like i'm too old to get it so if any of y'all know what that means please i'm trying out a new technique but like i'm looking at it in the monitor and i look like a damn clown new technique new technique maybe it'll work maybe it won't but that's the beauty of Makeup, it'll wash off, and if I didn't work today, I'm not obligated to be, you know? You know? Oh, wow, that is so stark. All right, so we're going to grab a little bit of the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. This, I really do like this bronzer. The thing is, it tends to pull orange on me. You see? So the way that I saw this technique be executed is you start with the blush, bring it all the way, pull it all the way to your temples, basically, and then grab the bronzer and then underneath it, like right underneath it, blend. So it almost sort of diffuses it. And then don't forget to blend here, the temples. No, there's This is the lazy girl's way, by the way. Like, if you are a precise kind of gal and you have the pencil or the, the brush, that like um, the nose contouring brush, go for it. I am a very out the door. Like my face, I love doing face makeup, but I like doing it fast too. And I've pretty much have been content with my face. All right, we're gonna go back to the little photo focus. Fell, fell. Didn't fall, almost fell. We're gonna go back. We're, we're going to go back. Sorry, Mercury's in retrograde. My God, can I speak today? And then refresh the face. And let it dry for a little bit. So grab your fan. If you have a fan, if you don't have a fan, grab one of these. Everyone has a handheld fan now, and I'm sure those are great. Like, I really do. I feel like that's the lazy way. <laughs> but then this is also the way that makes you work harder, so. 
So we're going to grab a bit of highlighter. We're going to be grabbing it on the Morphe M510 brush. We're going to grab this Revolution Pro or iHeart Revolution, sorry. We're going to be going with the gold color. You got me going wilder than wild. Ooh, I like to do it at the edge, end to end, at the very, very, very tip of my nose. And that's about it. I don't like to, well, sometimes I do, not all the time. And then Cupid's bow, you see that. So I'm going to do my eyebrows now. I'm going to be using the L'Oreal Unbelievable Brow. And this is a dupe for the Wonder Brow. Wonder Brow? This is a dupe for that. And I'm going to be using the Morphe E29. Grab a little bit of the tip. And they can stop us. fibers so it gives the appearance of bushier more put together brows the star of the show the star the star of the show no i'm not exactly sure what kind of color scheme situation we're going to be going for but i know i want something smoky something something that's me i'm very much a smoky eyes kind of go I see myself digging into story and ritual, maybe a little bit of memory, maybe a little bit of either a sequin or metallic aura, but oh, I need to play with the glitters. So we're going to be going in with a fluffy brush. This is the JH30 and we're going to be going in with Soothe. Girlfriend, you got me smiling what a each day. Stars are brighter, I feel lighter in every way. Girlfriend, there's no one like you when it comes to loving. Life is richer, lips are sweeter. Now this, this is a color I see myself just throwing into every single look. We're going to be taking that on the JH32. Mm -hmm. And then grab your, grab a little brush. This is the J, the BH Cosmetics number five. It came in a set. And with nothing on it, just blend. All right, Matt Ritual with this brush. I like this brush. No, there's no Clean brush. 
a little bit more smooth. And let's grab a little bit of memory. A little, little bit. Like I just tapped it once. And we're going to place that right. Like so. Again. I'm the luckiest of lucky. Let me hold. A little brush like this. It's not too fat, but it's also not too thin. Don't add anything to it and just. And we're going to grab. We're going to grab Soothe with our fingertips. Soothe in the sequins with our fingertips. This is like the color that I was so, so excited to play with. And we're just going to place. We figure out where to go and how about one lighthouse just for And then we're going to be going in with Soothe Glitter. and kind of pull, not like pull, just like a little tug. I'm not picking you guys off, I'm so sorry. I'm just pressing and pulling. Oh. Oh, you got me in my left of no, there's no Like, I don't want to waste this glitter and I have some on my finger left over and I just, I don't know where to put it. Like, do I just swatch it on my fucking fi on my face? Mm. Oh my god, this is gorgeous. Well, I don't know where I'm going tonight, but I'm going to go somewhere. So now let's go with a little brush like this, a Morphe M213. And we're going to go in with, actually, actually, yeah, okay, we're going to, mm, let's switch questions, actually, a Morphe M432. And we're going to go in with memory. We're going to use that to line our lower lash line. Well, this is the blackest black I've ever blacked. We're going to grab a little bit of Soothe and mix that in with a little bit of Ritual and just smoke it out. We're smoking this out very heavy because this is very dramatic. You're not going to disrespect this glitter by not going dramatic. So what we're going to do now is a little bit of Backseat Love from Morphe. Again, you guys know I don't overline. I don't know if doing that, that contour for your lips really does anything, but I just do. Maybe if you wear the gloss. Maybe you're really close. I'm gonna go with, with this mini 
Marc Jacobs lipstick in the shade Cream and Sugar. These are one of those little splurge items you get in the Sephora checkouts line. Like you see it right there and you're like 18 bucks. Very good deal. I'm gonna be using the CoverGirl exhibition. This one's like a little chemically. Girlfriend, you got me smiling by the reach day. In every way. For screaming for extreme life. And then let's measure. Oh, oh, those are being nervous. Okay, this is actually perfect. Right? Has some lashes glued. And. Now listen. Stay in let figure out. guys so this is the look I oh my god this 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 is my new favorite palette like it's as simple as that and it's so freaking beautiful so that being said um it's available on pre-order right now she had about a hundred thousand and sold them all which great for her congratulations all the accolades, all the success, very highly deserved. She is a woman that teaches you makeup and she teaches you techniques and she's very educational. So I am very, very, very excited for what's to come with this line with Tati Beauty. I already use uh, Halo and works magic. I am excited to purchase more palettes. I am excited for this, this brand because she is a very harsh critic when it comes to makeup. She will, she doesn't sugarcoat it. She will flat out tell you it's not the best. And that's, that's what we need, you know, that's what we need. And this is the best. This is so good. So I don't doubt that anything else that she puts out there is going to exceed anything we've seen. I'm very, very happy with how this look turned out. The colors blend themselves. I love this makeup look and yeah thank you guys so much for watching i really appreciate it if you stayed till the end thank you for that and give it a thumbs up share this with your friends share this with your families uh if you're looking for a christmas present this palette is perfect i recommend the palette it's on pre-order you can get it by december I don't know if it's December 5th or December 15th, but either way, that's before Christmas and that is what you need. So, so yeah, guys, I will leave all my social medias down below. Please make sure, give them a follow, check them out. Thank you guys again for watching. Mm -hmm.